I want to welcome you all here tonight. I think this is going to be a very interesting night and, and uh, the beginning of a very interesting campaign over the next uh, 15 months. I'm Richard Cavanaugh. I'm the uh, chairman of the Will County Republican Central Committee. I've been a precinct committeeman in Will County since 1974, and I've seen a lot of changes over the years. I was talking with Jim Eustace a little while ago, and I thought that one of the things that we might want to do is talk about the history of the position of county executive. After the 1980 census, the county board was redistricted, and in the 1982 elections, for the first time in years, Republicans were in a majority on the Will County Board. Lyman Tiemann from Frankfurt was elected county board uh, chairman. Ed Custer from Bolingbrook became Forest Preserve District President. Republican majorities were increased after 1984's election and 1986's election. And uh, as a result, the Democrats who controlled the Illinois House and the Illinois Senate uh, talked to local Democrats to talk about how to get power back to the Democrat Party in Will County. So what they did was they decided that they could do so by electing a county executive. Now originally the legislation that they proposed uh, would have created a situation where Will County would elect a county executive, but that the county would then become a whole rural county. And as I think you all know, Home Rule County means the ability to tax basically in an unlimited fashion. They knew that wouldn't pass uh, on a referendum, so what they did was they changed the referendum question in the legislation to say, shall the people of Will County uh, elect a county-wide executive but not become, not become a Home Rule County? <clears throat> That election took place in March of 1988, and uh, the people of Will County, by a couple of thousand votes, voted to, to create the office of county executive. Uh, that fall, Chuck Edelman was the Democrat candidate, John Annalino was the Republican candidate. Chuck Edelman beat John by several thousand votes, and the Democrats then controlled the office of county executive. In 1992, Chuck Edelman beat Gary Warner of New Lenox. In 1996, uh, uh, he beat Ron Sparr of Homer Glen. And then finally, in the year 2000, Joe Mikan beat Chuck Edelman for the Office of County Executive. <laughs> Joe is the only Republican who has been elected in six elections for the Office of County Executive. Joe lost to Larry Walsh in 2004, and then Dan Kennison lost to him in 2008. During all this time, though, the Republicans continued to control the Will County Board. As I said, uh, they got their barest of majorities, a 14 to 13 majority back in 1982. They built that up in 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, all the way through to 2010. However, in 2008, because of the Obama landslide, the Democrats wound up picking four seats, picking up four seats, so our majority is now 16 to 11. So, why is uh, this election, this county executive election, important? Well, in, 2000, in 2010, Larry Walsh went down to Springfield and talked to his good buddies, Mike Madigan and John Cullerton, and they passed an amendment to the county executive statute which said that Larry Walsh could present a map, a redistricting map, uh, for the county board. I can see that I can see in 2013, after the 2012 election, a situation where Larry Walsh, if he is reelected, and if the Democrats control the Will County Board. I can see Larry Walsh going down to Springfield and saying to his good friends, Mike Madigan and John Cullerton, hey, uh, Mike, hey, John, we're in trouble up in Will County. We need to raise a lot more money to do the kinds of things that Democrats do, which is spend money. 
So how about getting rid of that requirement that we can't be a home rule county? Let's see if we can change the legislation and allow Will County to be a home rule county with a Democrat county executive and a Democrat county board, and then we'll have fun raising taxes and spending money. Now, that's, that's what I see happening. That's why these county board races in 2012 are going to be so important. That's why the county executive race in 2012 is going to be important. Now, from the perspective of a county board chairman, I'd like you to hear from Jim Eustace, the Republican chairman of the Will County Board, who I think can tell you a little bit about what type of consequences might occur with a Democrat county board and a Democrat county executive. Jim has been the chairman of the county board, the Republican leader of the county board for years and years. He's from Frankfurt, he's a good friend. Jim, come on up.